Remembrances begin today for FDNY EMS Lieutenant Allison Russo. A wake for the 25-year veteran will be held this afternoon and tomorrow on Long Island. Russo was stabbed to death last week in what police call an unprovoked attack. CBS News John Diaz joins us live from outside the funeral home in Comac with more on what we can expect. John. Mary, today's services start in a few hours. They begin at 2 o'clock. But as you can see right here behind me, loved ones, they are already starting to show up here uh, to this funeral home. As you can see, the NYPD, they laid out some traffic cones here to start controlling traffic already. No doubt this is going to be a rough day for so many people, paying tribute to a woman who dedicated most of her life to saving the lives of others. It's a sorrow being felt from New York City to Long Island and well beyond. The tragic loss of 61-year-old EMS Lieutenant Allison Russo rocking the tri-state area. Flags ordered to be flown at half-staff until after the final farewell on Wednesday. A heart of gold. She was here for the whole station. She made sure that we were all okay. Yesterday, the FDNY posted this photo of the brave leader on Instagram with a caption from a fellow lieutenant saying, in part, there are no words that can express the pain that we are all feeling. So many left grappling with this great loss, especially her family. Remember her for the hero that she was, because that's truly who she was, and she died doing what she loved. Her life taken away too soon, but her service arguably greater than someone who could have lived two lives. Russo was a World Trade Center first responder, a 25 year veteran of the FDNY, and a volunteer with the Huntington Community First Aid Squad for decades. On Friday, a black and purple bunting was draped outside her Queen Station to pay homage, followed by a show of respect and sorrow as community members from the Huntington area lined the streets leading to Comac Abbey Funeral Home. I think that giving to others and service was just really her biggest love in life. Police say the 61-year-old was stabbed more than 20 times in an unprovoked attack last Thursday after she left her station to get food. The man accused in the stabbing is 34-year-old Peter Zizapoulos, who is now facing murder charges. We're told he has a history of schizophrenia. Now a second wake will take place tomorrow, followed by a funeral on Wednesday. We are live this afternoon from Comac, Long Island. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.